Yeah, I'll have the right slap on. Good morning everyone, welcome to Alton Park. It's probably not the morning when you're watching this because I like to release my videos on an evening because that's when YouTube says I should, right? Racing in the KAs today in number 36 again, the one we raced at Anglesey. There's myself, Scott and Ryan from Darkside, a trio, and we're doing a five hour race in the KAs today at Alton. There's some other racing going on, as you can see now they're lining up just to go out. But yeah, we're having a nice Saturday at the Ulton Park. So the KA, yeah, nothing's really changed since the last time we saw it, other than it had a victory. So the lads drove it at Snetterton a couple of months ago, well, in between Anglesey and now, the, the middle round, and they won. It was a Snetterton 200 track, and yeah, they come on with a, a victory, the victorious. So remember, we got second at Anglesey, and they got P1 at Snetterton. So, you know, it's, it's a... <laughs> A very competitive car, you could say. Now, I'm going out first in qualifying because Ryan and Scott are currently doing the other qualifying, as you can see. It's an hour qualifying we've got, so loads of track time. Going out for about a 20-minute session at the start, seeing just how fast we can go. I think this tyre might have had a little lock-up in the past. What do you think? Are these the race? Are these what tyres it finished the race on? Yeah. A bit spicy, that. How's the fronts? I think it's qualifying tyres or not. You qualifying on slick? Well, maybe they go faster tyres, I don't know. Those are little tips and tricks in the KAs that I'm not aware about. I'm just here as a driver today. And then tomorrow we're staying with Team Darkside. Performance diesel tuning. We're off to Anglesey and we're going to do the Club Enduro in the TT again. So yeah, qualifying shortly. So last time you'll know the cameras weren't great. I kind of lost a lot of footage or I didn't record any footage. This time we've gone perma live with the GoPro. Never done this before, but willing to give it a shot. So this GoPro location already exists, so if, I'm going to check it after qualifying if I need to move it, I'll move it. But we've got a permanent live in and we've got a big memory card, a 256 Kingston, yeah, funky Kingston. And I'm only going to record in 1080, so fingers crossed it'll be fine. And then I've got a little pedal cam down there as well, because, yeah, you know I love a pedal cam. So yeah, we're going out of qualifying now. I'm going to get ready and I'll see you out there. Hopefully we can do a, a decent time. Are you going to change that tyre? Ah, oh, he's decided, look, the camera's come out and he's decided he's going to change that tyre. Alright, let's get to it then, qualifying. Right, yeah. That was a compromise as well. That could have been a bit faster, that. That could have been a bit faster, that. That's just done my qualifying session. 
bit of rollover in that one. Should we go and look at the car? It's outside. So I got one decent lap in. Still got a little hold up at the Shell Oils, but it was a decent lap. Um, and then the lap after that got held up, so I just gave the car over to Scott. Scott's driving now, and then Ryan has to go out afterwards. But yeah, it was this car had a little tumble. Looks like it's done pretty well, you can't really tell, can you, apart from the smashed glass? There was quite a lot of smashed glass. A bit scuffed, oh, it's a bit more scuffed on the front, isn't it? Oh. So there was a rollover at um, Snetterton as well, we didn't have one angle, so did we? But there was one at Snetterton uh, a couple of weeks ago when they were racing. Uh, not good. It seemed a bit easy to, to topple over, I mean, when I had my moment, on my second lap, well, the you know, first lap after the out lap, when I had my moment down into that Shell Oils corner, which I believe that's what it's called, I could have easily rolled over there if the sausage curb was in the wrong place. Uh, savage. We're the only car into the 19s, so we're in P1. That's pretty good. But yeah, you know, there's still many more drivers to go out, many more cars to have a go, so that time is provisionally pole, what I did, but it might not be for too long, but. Yeah, there's still about half an hour left in qualifying, so yeah, let's keep track of it. See how we get on. Just done a 19 flat. They bested me by six tenths, but it's not showing on the board, so we're wondering whether he triggered a. I don't know, maybe he triggered like a warning sign, what they called track limits violation or something. I don't know. It's not showing up as the fastest time, though. A bit weird. But still, 25 minutes left, so. Oh, we just done an 18 7. Motherfucker's absolutely besting me, man. Absolutely besting me. Yeah, I knew I could have got some more time out of the car, but I didn't think I'd be able to get a second out of it. I don't know how he's done that. We'll have to review the footage afterwards, I think. Scott's coming in for his pit stop now. And Ryan will go out in the car, so Scott has you noisy bastard. That thing has to go off to let people... Alright, alright. It has to go off to let people know that there's cars entering the pit lane. You know, safety, health and safety, innit? It's PC gone mad. Yeah, I know. But yeah, Scott's confidently in pole now. But yeah, looks like we're going to be starting from the front anyway, somewhere around the front. And then Ryan's getting in the car now, so we'll see how he gets on. This man's just come here for his first race. After watching my video at Anglesey. So that's nice, innit? But he might have been a little bit slower. So Scott went faster, yeah. but he's got five track limit violations. So none of them count. Now we have all the verbal abuse in my videos, mate. Yeah, don't worry about that. So yeah, Scott did have two faster laps. We've just been talking about where he was faster, and I'm pretty sure we'll have some good race pace. But his lap times were disallowed because of the amount of track limit violations. He had five track... I didn't have one. He had five. But, you know, you've got to find the limit somehow, haven't you? Uh, we're down to fourth now. Yeah, Scott did in Yeah, they disallowed it. Track limits. Track limits, yeah.
as the clock ticks down now. We've got 10 seconds left, here we go. These cars have one more opportunity, don't they? But four, three, so the clock ticks down. The chequered flag is about to come out. Are we gonna have a couple more minutes of action? Time is running out, all these cars over the line. There's no change as it stands at the minute. Still no changes. Nobody's going quicker at the end of qualifying at all. Here they come, any changes? Three or four cars coming over the line now. There goes IP Racing. And uh, IP Racing, and IP Racing do make a move. They jump up to second place at 218.765, 0.045 a second behind the Axiometrics Cup. There you go, that's how things uh, look for qualifying. Congratulations to Axiometrics, they will start on pole position for this race. So 218.720, getting the job done. But they've got serial winners alongside them in IP racing. 45 hundredths behind first. So what time did I get an 18.7 or something? Something like that. Well, I ended up, when I went out there, we were down in fourth. Um, I ended up putting us back up to second. 45 hundredths of a second away from uh, pole. So it's gonna be a tight race, that's for sure. You might have heard a bit of a, a rattling in the car. Well, yeah, just found this look. Boot latch is just pissing in the wind, so. Tighten that down. Torques T40, I think. The man, mechanic man's coming out to sort it out, but. Yeah, the GoPro worked. That's the first time I've had it wired in. And it recorded for a full hour and a half it recorded for it, reckons. So that's pretty good, isn't it? We've got screw in here then for absolutely ages. The screw in here opened everyone's bonnets. He opened everyone's bonnets and he lifted this up. Had a look inside. Was he, was he maybe checking we're running air filters? And then he put this back on. So what's going to be the strategy then? Well, we've got to make a minimum of three pit stops, yeah? So I'm going to start the race, and then the first safety car, which could be in half an hour in the race, it could be an hour in the race, it could be five minutes into the race. It's probably going to be quite soon here at Alton Park. We imagine there'll be a safety car quite early on. I'll pit and then Scott will go out in the car. Scott's got a birthday party or something to go to. I don't know what he was saying. He's got to go and piss off somewhere. So he's going to do his stint and then again, safety car pit. Ryan goes out and then again, another safety car pit. In a five hour race, we should have at least three safety cars, you'd have thought. And obviously safety car pit stops are uh, very good. That's what we want to be doing, some safety car pit stops. So yeah, anyway, we're just changing some new tyres on. I think we're going on brand spankers for the race, not even scrubbed in, so I'll have to be steady at the start. A brand new tyres for the start, is it? So, brand new tyres, and hopefully we can get them to the end, obviously with some tyre management, because the pit stops aren't timed. You've got to make a minimum of three pit stops, three, but you've got to make a minimum of three pit stops, but they're not timed. So, if you're just coming in and driver swapping, sound. We will have to refuel at least once, the car will do about two and a half hours on fuel, it's a five hour race. So, you know, we'll have to refuel at least once, but yeah, it should be good. Obviously the safety car brings down fuel consumption and stuff as well. So yeah, buzzing though. So almost got pole, just off of it. Out of 36 cars, I think that is entered. So 
I'm pretty chuffed with that. And I beat Scott's time, which is obviously the main thing. I had a massive off as well on that lap. Turn one, I was way off on the grass on turn one, so a couple of attempts there. And then the main thing that I shafted myself was I tried to give myself a big gap for the lap because I knew it would be my last chance at doing a fast lap. And I went too slow right around the last corner. In the KA, you can't really you can't really pick your speed back up so soon. And I just watched the um, it's got one of those aim solos in and I saw the delta drop, drop, drop all the way up here, dropping deltas. And then I went off there. So yeah, who knows what we could have done optimal, but I think being 45 hundredths off the pole is, uh, is good enough for me. Just a little bit of uh, maintenance going on between quality and race. Jay's doing his health checks with the car and what's he found? Well, this is a racing drum, right? Now that is a racing drum. Look at that, down to the, uh, down to the metal. Oh, are you going to focus? Is that why his brakes are not working? Well, we, internet can't see it because of no focus. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Look. So we found some spares anyway. Bang them on. Right, we've just been called for the KAs. I've just lowered the uh, camera angle a little bit and made a few little changes. So both cameras are uh, wired in now, so hopefully we'll not have any problems with overheating. This one was feeling pretty cool after it, but I think the 4 might get a bit hot. But The 4 is obviously supplementary, that's just a pedal cam. Yeah, I'm starting the race, so like I said, the strategy, as soon as the safety car, I'll be in. If it's on lap one, if it's on lap um, 100, no, not 100, but we'll probably do about two and a half hours on the fuel. So, you know, we need to obviously plan fuel around that. We're starting P2, so front row on the attention dirty side. Paddock, attention paddock, please know you all competitors for run three and jump. It, 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 it's on dial up him. I think he's just meant to say that uh, in Juro car. All competitors oh. for race three, Juro okay. Yeah, I think we understood what he said, so let's get out there. Need to get the dancing shoes on and go. Safety car lights are on. Right. right. So safety car is out. I'm not seeing why as of yet. So we know the track focus car's in the pits. So Cooper's been behind the wheel of that, uh, obviously in the character issue. And IP Racing into the pits. So IP Racing into the pits is this strategy. Now we know IP Racing, they are serious, serious racers. Well, I've just got out of the car after my first session. So we did what you said we were gonna do, pit it on the first safety car. There's only been about 10 minutes of the race going, I think. Let's have a look. Four hours 43 left, so I did about 15 minutes in the car there. Purple lap, I got the fastest lap so far, so low 219, but obviously everyone's full of fuel, so that'll go down a lot during the race. Uh, the GoPro was not running then when I checked it, the foot cam was, but uh, that's a shame. But um, I just turned it on again when Scott went out and it said repairing file, so when Scott pits and Ryan goes out, I'll try and press the record again and hopefully it'll record. It's um, quite bad for the team as well. If, if we get called up to the stewards and we can't provide any footage, then it's uh, bad for the team. We can end up getting penalised for that fact. So GoPro, sort your shit out, as per usual, eh? As per usual. And that one guy who was going to comment saying, just fit a dash cam. Yeah, I know what you mean. Normally, we're trying to have a backup camera, but it's not my car, is it? So we've just rigged up some, some cameras and some power and hope for the best. But, oh, well. Session went well anyway, so we did exactly what we planned to do. Pitted on the first safety car and it happened in about 15 minutes into the race. And now Scott's out in the car and then Ryan after him and then I'll be back in to, to finish the race off. Looking forward to it. Our main rivals just pitted, are they just doing a driver change? Fueling. 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 <laughs> Interesting tactic, you wouldn't have got more than a litre in I don't think. 
Are we going to outsmart them, yeah? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> well, we've had a total of two safety cars now since the one that I pitted on. We didn't capitalise on either of them. Now, the first one was a bit tight because Scott had only just gone out in the car. Was there any point pitting? Maybe not. But that second one, we probably could have capitalised on it, but Ryan was away getting his trophy for the other race that he did. So, you know, we weren't ready with the drivers. So, you know... Oh, where's this one going? Interesting, that was a pit stop and a half going all the way into the garage. So let's go on the pit wall, shall we? So Scott's currently in the lead. That car is currently in the lead. Our main rivals, Axia. I say main rivals, they were the ones that got first at Anglesey and they got second at Snetterton. But obviously there's other cars here which are fast as well. You need to watch out for everyone, but the next safety car, we need to be ready to capitalise on it. We are only an hour and 15 minutes into this race. It's a five hour race, so, you know, there's still plenty of time. Maybe doing the two driver changes before that time would have been, hmm. You've got three drivers in a five hour race, aren't you? So, you know, you need to capitalise on that and hopefully the tyres are good. I was pushing the tyres maybe a little bit more than what I'd have liked, but they were brand new. Here's Scott looking to lead, so this is for position, the second place behind him, that's all for position. Neck and neck. Now we're about two hours into this five hour race now. So what's that? 40% in? Yeah, good maths, good maths. So Ryan's almost ready. We're just uh, ready, waiting now for the next safety car to happen. Now we think the tyre wear might be slightly higher than what we expected. We've got a, a fresh set of front tyres to go on if we need to. But obviously we prefer not to change tyres because, like I said at the start, the pit stops, there's no minimum time or anything. So we've got to make three pit stops, but there's no minimum time. So the more time we spend in the pits, as he goes past, the more time we spend in the pits, the more times we lose. See, there's the Axia car only a couple of seconds behind. So things are real tight. Two hours in, there's only about three or four seconds between us. But we are currently still in the lead. So yeah, we're in the lead, five second gap. Yeah. Scott's doing mid 220s. So, steady pace. Is he managing the tyres, do you think? Yeah, feel good. Feel good? Cool. As long as they keep feeling good, then we'll be all right. But yeah, we're only, like I say, 40% of the way in, so still, still, in fact, not even that. There's still three hours and 11 minutes left. So, you know, still plenty to play for. Now we have look, some brand new tyres which we hopefully won't need. Scott says the tyres feel good the at the minute. Are, the tyres are especially prepared by me, so... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So yeah, hopefully we won't need to put them on, but there's a chance. I mean, the rears we definitely won't need to change. But it's one of them where if the tyres are seriously degraded, then, you know, if it's going to be a second a lap difference, then obviously you'll make it up, you know, within 40 minutes or whatever. No, more than that, probably an hour. So, see how he gets on anyway. And obviously with brand new tyres, obviously if, if we put them tyres on and I do an hour at the end, then I can just go flat out on them tyres and I'll last an hour all day. Tactics, tactics, TikToks. 36, gents. Yeah. Team manager needs to go upstairs. After that's fine, as long as it's something goes. I'll let him know. So we're going to do a pit stop now. Adam. Pitting on the green, unfortunately. Adam. Adam, you got to go see stewards. You've got to go see stewards. Hurry up, then I know why. Is he coming in? Yeah, he's boxing now. Pit him down. Yeah, box this lap. Alright, so boxing on the green, which is obviously less than ideal, but there's not been another safety car since. You can only be out for two hours and ten minutes, and Scott's been out for two hours and five minutes, so he needs to come in. Yeah, Ryan getting ready. Ryan! Don't get any track limits. Otherwise it's drive through the next time. What do you think of the tire? Well, Adam. It's you that know me the fan. Now we know how we feel, shall we do? Stay in the garage! Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Need a piss, Scott? I'm still wishing I Yeah, I've been needing it since we went out. <laughs> so we did put on the green then. Uh, actually, they're also pitting on the green. Scott said it was just about out of fuel. I've turned the GoPro on as well. The GoPro is now running. Uh, but we've also just had our final warning for track limits. And if we do track limits again, then we're getting a drive through penalty. Some work going on for the TC ready tomorrow. Remember, we're driving the TC tomorrow at Anglesey. That'll be good. Remind him if we get another track limit, it's a drive through. Yeah. It's a drive through penalty if we get another track limit. So that'll be a bit spicy if we get another track limit violation. Of course, Scott is not going for the toilet yet. Who got all the track limit violations? He used all his lives up, man. Where were you doing it? You talk about how good you are at keeping it on track, so yeah. we'll prove it now. He was trying to beat me Delta, that was a problem. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> I just thought this guy's heroic going into it. Now we've got about two hours left in the race now, just under. So remember the maximum driver time is 2 hour 10, so Ryan can pit now for the safety car. We'll get a cheap stop. We're going to have to brim it of fuel. We put about 30 litres in there when uh, the driver changed swap from Scott to Ryan. But it's only showing a half on the gauge, which in reality is about a third. So, yeah, we definitely need to put as much fuel in as what we can get. And then, yeah, we're not going to change tyres. The tyres still feel good, apparently. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm suiting up. There's no safety car yet. I don't know if there's going to be one. It seems kind of quiet out there, really, but it's easy to say from the pits. But you never know. So anyway, I'm going to suit up, and then I'll see you inside the KA for a final stint. Hopefully the GoPro works, eh? Yeah, hopefully. Where's Ryan currently? Where's the team currently? We are in second place by seven tenths of a second. So yeah, all still to play for. <laughs> all right, we've got bang on an hour and a half left. You'll see some tyres already. Ryan's on the radio now saying the tyres are shagged. So the tyres have done three and a half hours, which you should be able to do that. They should be able to do six steady, but I mean, they've been battling for the lead. So Ryan's still now even battling for the lead, I think. Yeah, look, since the last time we looked, there's still only six tenths in it. So when they're fighting for the lead, you know, the tyres are going to take a bit of a battering, aren't they? So. We're going to change tyres anyway, so it's going to add about 20 seconds to our pit stop, probably. Full tank of fuel, almost. I think they're going to try and put about 30 litres in. And, uh, yeah. It's all up to me. Oh, he's here. He's here. Oh, he's Right, hello everybody. Yes, we are back live for the finish. And if we turn around, uh, big news because Car 36 IP Racing, they have been handed a stop go penalty. He used all his lives up, man. That is pretty much going to hand the race to Axiometrics. You have pitted again, but managed to get back out with a big lead. They're going over the start finish line. There goes IP Racing. They haven't pulled into the pits yet. Number 36. They've got a penalty. And uh, they've got to come in soon, otherwise they could be in big, big trouble here. It could be a black flag. Let's hope that they uh, see it and come in quickly. What a shame that would be. So big news here, Axiometrics leading the race. Now, I don't know if they've seen it. Surely they must be aware that they've got this penalty. Uh, Sylvester behind the wheel of the IP Racing car at the minute as well. well. Here they come, IP Racing into the pits to serve this stop-go penalty. The big thing, this is huge now. This is the battle really for second and third. What's going to happen? Can Autotech take advantage of this? Let's find out. Into the pits, off they go. IP Racing straight out, going for this. It's just a stop-go penalty and they've served it. Almost a bit of a sprint race, I think. But let's just uh, have a little look. I don't know if you can see the IP racing. Look at the time mark that they've just left down here. Look at that. What a cracker that is. Who was really going for it? Want to look at that? Uh, I don't think KAs could quite do it. Again, last time over the line, a 219.781. Axiometrics did a 223.485. So another four seconds out of them. Well, three minutes left to go. What is the gap at the top? By the way, it's down to 28 seconds now. Uh, it's five seconds taken out. IP Racing took five seconds out that last lap. It's not going to be enough. After this, there will be 
two laps left. We will be on the penultimate lap of this race. This will be it now. The checkered flag is out. The checkered flag is waiting. And there it is. It's axiometrics. They have massively slowed down to take the checkered flag. And they do. And they win. There they are. Flashing the headlights. Axiometrics win the Enduro car. Five hours of Alton Park. My word, IP racing at the end, they're only 2.492 seconds behind. Wow, they really slowed down. That was tight in the end. Switch out over here because I'll tell you something, I know he was taking it easy, but 2.4 or so over the line in the end. Were you about 48 seconds back at one point? I didn't know he was taking it easy, yeah. Yeah, so we had a few mistakes there on that last stint, but that's what it is. Those guys drive really well, so yeah i think we we swapped for tires but we put some old tires on and they seemed to be really bad <laughs> i went out and i was like why have we wasted this time here should have probably put some brand new ones on but yeah i started to get kind of used to the car towards the end obviously yeah. got penalized a few times with the with the penalties you know i wasn't i wasn't going beyond the track limits to find time yeah. i just you know struggling with the tires so i got in the end, penalized, it make a huge you know. amount of difference i mean you never know without it who knows but we certainly know dominic would have gone a bit quicker had he known you were bearing down on him but uh, second yeah. place it's fantastic though you of course winners here last year you got a pretty good record at Alton Park well this is the second time my, me driving the KA I've got second at Anglesey as well behind Axia so it would have been nice to beat him but uh, yeah like I say I made a few I'm, I'm pretty upset because I made a few mistakes in the last session but yeah happy with second place the rest of the guys drove really well so I think you all I did think, uh, yeah it went all right I mean I started to find some time at, towards the end but yeah, overall it wasn't uh, the last stint wasn't that enjoyable. I was happy when it ended. So. We'll see you at Brands, yeah? Well yeah. done, congratulations. Don't be hard on yourself. You're done pretty good. Our second place team, IP Racing. Well, I'm pretty sure the GoPro's recorded sack all of that race. So once again, GoPro, I must ask you to sort your shit out. Although the GoPro 4, the foot cam, seemed to record pretty much the full race. I weren't happy after that. I don't know if the uh, interview, I got interviewed at the end. I don't know if that was on the live stream or not, if I can steal it. Congrats to the Axiometrics team. They won. We got second place, you know, second place out of 35 cars or whatever, should be, should feel happy about it, but no, I don't, why don't I feel happy about it, well, my last stint was bad, so we made a call to put some tyres on, and we had the choice of some tyres which looked really good, but we scrubbed in, or some brand new tyres, now, have you ever driven on brand new Toyota Triple R's? One word, squidgy. So I picked, I picked the tyres that had been scrubbed in. Now, I think they might have been scrubbed in a bit too much. Apparently they were on the back of the car, I don't know for how long or when, but they were rears, so they could have done a, another endurance race all the way through. And I think that's maybe what they did, because they were so hard, ridiculously hard. And I just couldn't do a fast time on them, so I messed up. I was pushing the car too hard, trying to drive beyond the grip of the tyres, trying to get down into the 19s and made a few mistakes and then I got heavily penalised for the mistakes. I got a drive through penalty and then I got a stop and go penalty, which thoroughly ruined our chances of victory. So to still finish P2 after that, you know, we should be, we should be more chuffed, shouldn't we? How much time did you lose doing a stop go and a drive through It must be 30 seconds easy, yeah? Uh, we were about 40 seconds behind Axia in the end. Uh, they slowed real down towards the, the, I don't know why, I don't know if they were running out of fuel or what, but we actually ended up finishing just two seconds behind them, but they let off a lot on the last lap. So that was the reason why it wasn't because we were catching them at any rates. But my last few laps were actually pretty banging. I don't know what the times were. I think they were low 19s, but Matisse put the uh, board out. I didn't have the comms either. There's no radio comms. And Matisse put the board out saying, uh, four laps left and it just kind of you know something switched in my brain and I just started driving pretty steady so that yeah, was pretty good I got low 19s which is you know not too bad I'll have to have a look at the lap chart and see where I came you know <sighs> but yeah I'm not feeling so great about it 
Good job, Team Darkside. I feel like we could have had a better result. Yeah. Second again to Axiometrics. So Darkside Trucks just setting off for Anglesey. Yeah. So yeah, the racing's not over. Still got plenty to uh, still got plenty to come from this weekend. You can tell by my voice, can't you? Yeah, you can tell. Alright, she's getting strapped up then and she's getting taken back to your Kent, aren't you? Kent. Some drive that from here. Oh, we're not going tomorrow, we're going to the pub then. Oh, you're going to the pub? Yeah, I'll go tomorrow then. So, I don't know, chaps. I mean, we, we finished second place out of all those KAs. We should be happy, shouldn't we, really? But brain's not happy. I mean, it was the getting the penalties that, that hurt me, I mean. Obviously the car not being right and me overdriving the car a little bit. Um, maybe I should have just, you know, reserved. But I had to go for it because you know, when we pitted we had a five second deficit to Axia, if not greater. Yeah, we, we gave it our all and then, you know, Scott and Ryan drove really well. What did that Clark say about me again? Do you have swearing on your video? Yeah, yeah, of course I do. <laughs> so basically he said... This was after you my drive-through penalty. He called me a word. Really? <laughs> he, he, I think he was annoyed. He thought I was taking the piss. He thought you were taking the piss. Yeah. Uh, so obviously you weren't. No, I was just like I say, to man. To be fair, I think he said similar things about me before. So. Ah oh, well. So yeah, when I got my penalties, um, Adam got called up as a team boss to, you know, speak to the clerk and. Apparently the Clark Fire was taking the piss with my driving, whereas, no, I was just making mistakes because, you know, we didn't have the grip. But, I mean, taking the piss would be, well, what would taking the piss be? A track limits to find time, surely. But I wasn't doing it to find time. I was driving within the, the track. I wasn't taking the piss. Well, that's all from Alton Park. Uh, really enjoyed qualifying the first stint and didn't enjoy the last stint, but we did. Well, I sound like I'm whinging because I am whinging. And yeah, it's my video, so I can whinge if I want to whinge. We got P2, we did well. Yeah, still did well, despite the drive through and the stop and go penalty. None of which was captured by the camera. Yeah, I need to sort something out on that, don't I? Not ideal, but the racing from this weekend does not stop because I'm now driving to Anglesey where Joe's racing, he's been racing today, he's also racing tomorrow but we are racing in the Club Enduro in the TT so I'll see you there thanks to IP Racing and Darkside for running a, a solid car today sorry for the track limits at the end, I don't know if we'd have caught Axia with the tyres anyway so I guess the the stop and go, the penalties were just kind of insult to injury, really. I don't think we'd have caught them anyway, but like I said, the tyres started coming alive towards the end, so I don't understand why. Maybe they were just... I don't... I don't know. But, yeah, that's it. All done. Thanks for watching. Thank the Patreons. And I'll see you tomorrow at Anglesey. We've got a pop and bang now, bad luck. To end. I got my uh, I got my Seat with its pop and bang remap, bro. Oh, go on, let's see you popping and banging. Nonce. I've just remembered another race driver excuse. The car was slow, so slow. I don't know if the GoPro got it, but I was flat round Druids every single lap in my last stint. I'm not done whinging yet. Goodbye.